I predict there will be one topic this week, aliens. Maybe. I saw somebody in chat go, I'm really excited for this episode of Chaluminati. <laughs> Le neige overnight lip mask. Goodness. That sounds fancy. I like it. That'll have to be a future thing. We got to have Mathis, then Fasciani, then a gruesome foursome. Get them both in here. The SC, yeah, the SCP boys. Thank you. We've been talking for a while about me coming back and doing another episode. Um, I haven't done it yet. I have to write it. I mean, yeah, we would love to have Davis on. We're, we're goofing about Chaluminati right now, though. <laughs> Finally able to catch Geek Enders live. Welcome. This is the pre-show part of this whole thing. Uh, so I'll be doing sound check and making sure the pictures look good and everybody's pronouns are correct and you know all of the all of the behind the scenes silly shit and then and then we can talk about not aliens <laughs> or aliens. Who knows? Brett Bayonne, would love to have Brett on. He's lovely. No, if you're thinking of um, a podcast with Jesse that Davis is also on, you might be thinking of Star Wars New Canon or Old Canon Book Club. They've done both. <laughs> I love that podcast, by the way. I'm going to say this and it's going to sound like a diss. It's not. It's exactly the same as when I'm like... You know who I love to put on when I need to just knock myself out? Crendor. It's not a diss. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a diss. Crendor just has a tonality to him where you're like, I could sleep right now. That's the way that I feel when I listen to Star Wars Old Canon Book Club. Again, not because it's boring or because I don't give a shit about Star Wars. I don't give a shit about Star Wars. <laughs> but, but, um, it's like, you know, three of my buds just having generally a pretty calm conversation about a book and there's something just very comforting about it. Thank you, Violet. I hope you have a nice time. Yeah, we didn't do our normal stream. Normally I do, I do a stream and then we cut into Geek Enders. <laughs> immediately after my normal stream um but this is the first day of my kids uh spring term break so crapping all over Corindor. he's not even here to defend himself <laughs> monstrous my door has flip-flopped open one moment, and then we'll call the boys with a Z. Okay. None of your beeswax quinin.
Nice Willy Wonka text. Thank you. Yeah, dude. I was putting I was putting uh, Zeds at the end of words at the start of my YouTube career, baby. One day there's gonna be a solo Geek Enders episode for just me because Jesse did one. One day there's gonna be a solo Duger Geek Enders episode, and I'm gonna put a fucking Z at the end of that, and it's gonna be very good for. Just me. <laughs> I'm going to find that shit hilarious. Here we go. Calling the boys. Likelihood of me being alone in this call. For five minutes. Pretty likely. Extremely likely. We'll see. <laughs> wap, 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 wap. Oh my god, they both hung up on me. At least I know they're both awake. <laughs> they both went, no. <laughs> no. I see how it is. No, it's fine. No, I'm glad. I'm glad you did that. <laughs> Not alone on the call if you said you can't have a call. I am more alone in this call than ever. I thought I was going to be alone in the call, but with the call still, you know, ringing. They both went, click. <laughs> Truly alone in the call. <laughs> yeah, time to slap that Z on the end, dude. I guess it's my time. Whenever I do this now, I think about that fact that, like, the current generation of kids don't see this as a phone sign. <laughs> Cause that's not what phones look like anymore. Maybe they were abducted. Could be. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. So if you do this and then you do this, that doesn't make sense to smart to the smartphone generation. It's like that video that went out where that person was like, God, you know what I wish that we had it was just like a phone that was just for the whole family that just like stayed in the house. That was just like a house phone. And all of the people responding to that video are like, how old am I? <laughs> How old am I, <laughs> please? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good because the the original, it might be a goof, but like the original video feels very earnest, right? Just like, God, wouldn't it just be so nice if there was just a phone that was just for the house? <laughs> yeah, we did that for a very long time. Yeah, my parents still have house phones. Multiple. You know why? Because my dad, um, you know, has his thing. He has his setup. He has his places that he has to be at certain times of the day. So he has a little house phone that's out in the garage. And then there's another house phone in the kitchen. And they have an intercom feature on them. So whenever my mom needs to be like, get in here and eat dinner, they intercom each other with the, with the house phone, which is very cute. Right. 
right? Should I get one of those for me and Sam? <laughs> so I can be like, boop. Did he hang up? When is XCOM stream happening? Are you? Are you asking about my husband's stream in my stream? I don't know, dude. <laughs> my XCOM stream? Never. <laughs> Never. Never. Because let's be real, the, the trade between um, me and Sips, I don't think he's fulfilled his end of the bargain either. I don't, no. I love watching XCOM. I hate playing it. I really hate it. Um, it is not fun for me to play. Mm-mm. I don't enjoy it. But the reason that I thought you were talking about my sweet love is because he's currently playing XCOM on his stream. <laughs> so I was like, don't ask about his stream here. I don't know what he's doing, dude. He's currently dying. And inside, he's currently inside wrapped up in a blankie coughing while my kid, I don't know, starts a fire probably. I know he's not streaming right now. I'm saying in general, he is playing XCOM in life as a human. Um, can I tell you something that's going to make you want to barf? So, um, we were sent a collector's edition of Baldur's Gate and the stuff inside of it is gorgeous. Um, and I have been fighting very hard against this urge to always keep these beautiful boxes that collector's editions come in because I don't do anything with them. Nothing gets done with them, right? This? What's in there? Nothing <laughs> is the answer. I'll cut you off. Nothing is in there. So I was like, I'm going to just, the stuff inside is gorgeous. I'm going to get rid of the box, right? So my kid saw that this beautiful box was sitting next to the door and was like, I'm going to turn this into something amazing. <laughs> Cut a hole in it. <laughs> Cut a hole in the top of it. And I was like, mommy, come in here. I was like, okay. <laughs> came in. And she was inside of the box with the, the whole cutout bit on top of the hole and then went, surprise! <laughs> I was like, this is my Halloween costume. You're gonna be a postman. I was like, what? She goes, you're gonna be a postman and you're gonna pretend that you're delivering the, me to other people. And then when they go to take the box, I pop out and say, happy Halloween. I was like, that's an amazing idea. <laughs> So that's what my morning was. <laughs> the barf part was because I know some of you will hate the idea of any part of a beautiful collector's edition being chopped into by a five-year-old. <laughs> but... It was either going to the tip or getting turned into an amazing Halloween costume at the end of March. So. I love it. Last year, 
I didn't literally didn't dress up. I was just like her handler, you know. Um, so I love that she's like, I've already figured out our group cosplay, our group Halloween costume. Don't even worry about it, mommy. You don't need to think about anything. You just have to be pretty and wear an Amazon delivery driver outfit. <laughs> Still alone in this call, by the way. <laughs> What about Moomin Papa? I know. I think she's I think she's discarded that. I think the Snufkin little my Moomin Papa costume. <laughs> I think she's decided not to do that. But I still feel like that's a very good potential costume. I pitched that as maybe a um next world book day, if we're still really into Moomins at our house. Uh Little My would be a very good World Book Day costume for my kid. Can they join the call if they've already denied it? Yeah. On Discord? Yes, 100%. <clears throat> because we're in a we're in a group DM and they just join the call that's happening in that DM. So What's the English name of the one living in the fireplace? The like Moomin ancestor from win the Moomin Land Winter book? I don't know. We haven't gotten that far in the book yet. Yeah, little Mai. Little Mai and Mimble are are the the like that family words. And then Snufkin Jockster? Is Jockster his dad? And he's a mumrick, I think is the English word for the type of troll he is. And then it's Moom and Papa, Moom and Mama. Moomin Troll, Snork, and Snork Maiden. I didn't realize that there were English-specific words until I started, like, talking about Moomins on stream, and people would be confused about who I was talking about. <laughs> I was like, we changed the words? Why? <laughs> These are names um, uh, of Moomin characters. Sniff, yeah. What's the name of who's the who's the dude from Demon Slayer with the yellow hair who's insufferable? What's his name? Zenitsu. That's who Sniff is. Sniff is the Zenitsu of Moomin. I won't explain myself. It's just the truth. Drives me crazy, dude. It's the top of the hour. Where are these boys? Men? <laughs> Wherefore art thou? <laughs> Men? <laughs> Yeah, Sniff's the little weird, like, 
coward creature that just wants to get rich. And there are so many situations where it's like, and Sniff's also here. And I'm like, does he have to be? <laughs> and that's how I feel about Zenitsu <laughs> pretty much constantly. <laughs> Men? Men? <gasps> there you are. Hello. Join the Discord call, please. <laughs> oh, no. Why can't I hear you? Ha ha. Oh, by the way, did you, there you are. talk to Matt this week? Yeah. Okay, cool. So he knows. I literally messaged him. Hold on. And he acknowledged the message. Yes. I was thinking about this last night. I was literally like. I messaged him two days ago. Here, let me put you on mm -hmm. stream. Mm -hmm. I messaged him two days ago. Right, and right. Said, Did you message him last night? No. I messaged him two days and said, hey, bud, reminder about Geek Enders this week. And he said, yep, I will see you Friday. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking about that the entire time. And when I saw he wasn't in chat, I was like, well, well, well. Just letting you know. <laughs> just letting you know. Um. Anyway, while we wait, can I show you a magic trick? that I just found out of two course. seconds ago. Of course you can. It's pretty amazing. It's a pretty good magic trick. Um, notice notice the uh, sign right there. The, the, the one sign behind, that definitely behind doesn't your have a, Oh, Doesn't have a swear word. Yeah, oh, that, that sign. one. Okay, yes. <clears throat> now, I have a controller here for the lights that shine in my face. Okay. And um, the ones that blind me frequently that make my eyes hurt. You know, the lights. Sure. And so, uh, turns out, if I mess with these lights like say this the signal affects the light back there oh you don't don't take my word for it it also so i can i can change this right but then also and <laughs> i can't believe it does this this is so goofy so you know they're, so they're, cool. they're both being turned on by the same, like, frequency or, like... I guess so, yeah. I that's guess pretty so. funny. <laughs> and I have no idea why, but, you know, that's pretty freaking ridiculous. Yeah. So uh, now I have a, a, new ma a new magic trick to show the world. That's cool. I love that's it. That's neat. That's that cool. is cool. That's neat. That's neat. That's cool. That's not suspicious. That's not weird. That's not weird. So what do... What do if... If Mathis is curled up in a tiny blanket right now, what do we do? Yeah. Um, we can still do a show called Geek Enders. That's a show that we do. That is a show we do. That's wild. That's just a show we do. It is that's a show. That's pretty crazy. That's, that's pretty crazy. That's, that's crazy. Pretty that's pretty weird. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. Just call Crendor. <laughs> he is in no way up at all. <laughs> I'm letting you know. He is in no way awake. Yeah, do you have his uh, thing? I'll message him. I'll be like, hey, Mathis? Yeah. I don't have his phone number, if that's what you mean. Don't worry. I do. I do. I, it would have been weird if you didn't. <laughs> Personally, I feel like. Uh, he's going to come running in. I can't wait to have him prove a point that I, I felt like needs to be made. Um, whenever we have guests that you invite on, yeah, they show up looking amazing. Whenever I invite guests on, they're like, "Hey, I invited Mathis, I though. I think. Oh no, you did. That's true. Yeah. Well, that's your mistake right there. <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> yeah, Mathis is one of mine. <laughs> also, can we just talk about how camera frame rates are awesome? 
look at my lips move so fast that they start to become like helicopter propellers and it looks like it's just moving very slowly here we go <laughs> it's fun i like that yeah thank you mm -hmm. it's called uh science i think oh <laughs> Yeah. That looks like science. Yeah. Feels like science. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a great story to tell you, and I don't want to say it until the podcast. Oh, I can't wait. My lips are 60 FPS, but you're only seeing it in 30, which is why you're not experiencing the true lip uh, effect. Oh. Yeah. Chat, it's how been... is Jessup sounding to you? Oddly amazing. <laughs> Sexy. One of a kind. Like amazing, fine, great. So far, so good. Very balanced. Like angels. Like angels in the outfield. <clears throat> Starring Christopher Lloyd and a young Joseph S S Scott Levitt. Yep. Scott? <laughs> yeah. Great. Scott. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scott. Okay. Unhinged, but audio wise, good. That sounds right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Joe Stalin. A young Joseph Stalin. Uh huh. And a Doc Brown. Yep. Together. Once again. Damn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I know. Did I know, you. Are you. Are you. I'll wait. <laughs> Save it. This is all important podcasting stuff. It's true. This is very it's important. It's true. We shouldn't be talking about this. I'm so sorry. You really shouldn't. Jesse sounds a bit clipped. This is the this is the issue that we're trying to fix, though. So does Jesse sound like he's clipping a little bit? Why do I sound a bit clipped? Just lower my volume. It's fine. Screw them. What are they going to do? Have to listen harder? Come on. <laughs> Well, remember, we're like f fucking with the gain inside of OBS and stuff now. So I just want to make sure that Lower things... me. Every now and then I get a little bit lower and you want to lower me. Lower me. Lower my volume so you can believe because there's nothing to hear. Lower me. I can do that all day. I accidentally all really I just lowered don't. you. <laughs> I accidentally lowered you a lot. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm used to it. I'm used to being put in a corner. Everyone puts baby in a corner. It's Everyone fine. does. It's true. Everyone. Oops. Um, keep talking. Get keep talking. Just now. Let me tell you a story all about how my life got flipped to turn upside down. Yep. Cool. Great. I don't know. Keep talking. More? <laughs> oh, well, something, something, Max and relaxing. Cool. B-ball. Oh, no. You can't Uncle refresh. Phil. DJ, Jazzy Jeff. Why'd my camera freeze? I'm fine. I don't know. Does he sound better, well, chat? He is so cool he froze. That's true. Oh, I'm not God. Freezing. There he is. I look great on my screen. I look fantastic, even. Wah, 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 wah. Every now and then I fall apart. See? Look at that. I know my audience, and it's you. That's it. That's my audience. <laughs> if I can get you laughing, I've done a good job. And if not, well, you fuck always it. make I me tried. laugh. I tried. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now a bit loud on Duke's side. Well, you can't. That's because <clears throat> I was turning around bright eyes. Yeah. Ugh. Every now and then I fall apart. Oh, I thought he was responding, but. Give him an old timey phone call. Um, boy, I forgot how to do that. Imagine there's a there's a little twisty cord here, and then you yeah, no, and I'll then try. You like this, I'll try. And you, and you twist mm -hmm. the cord around your thingy while you're waiting. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. By the way, can I just say for the record? Yeah. Um. He definitely got high and forgot. Just letting you know. <laughs> Just letting you know. I didn't Just... know. I didn't know I had to follow up once a day. 
let me let me tell you let me tell you something yeah 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 we filmed chaluminati on wednesday and there was no mention of this podcast i want to let you know that's how i he didn't say like see you friday he didn't say that shit i that's how i knew i was like he's not even gonna show up that's i knew it i should have said something i should have said something it's my fault to be a group effort i did pokemon once yeah, it's my. You know what? I should have. I should have held up my. Uh, it's fifty fifty. I should have been there to carry you across the sand, like Jesus. Please. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's it's you know. Easter when I looked weekend, behind me, there so were like, two sets of footprints. What's that all about? I don't know. Uh, Come yeah, on, man. Yeah. <laughs> should have just been the one. I should have carried. Yeah, my bad. It happens. Mm-hmm. Let me call this boy. Call this boy before the aliens do. Call this boy. Come back to us, Mathis. You know you I'm want call to. Him. I wish I, I wish I had a voice filter. Because <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> Mathis. <laughs> I hope it goes to voice. He's passed out. I'm letting you know. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hello, Marcos. <laughs> this is the FBI. You were supposed to be on a podcast today <laughs> with your friends, Jesse and Dodger, but you did not show up. And so for another 25 years, we will keep aliens away from you. <laughs> we are so sorry for your failure. Your refusal to arrive at the appointed time has meant that the aliens do not think you are trustworthy. Goodbye. <laughs> <clears throat> that was Great, it. Done. Yep. Did my job. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, aliens. Sorry, everyone. No aliens for another 25 years. I'm so sorry. 25 years? Mm, we have to play this cat and mouse game. Oh, where my we... God. Yeah, yeah. The worst part is you're going to get that when he wakes up and be like, oh, man, no aliens. Not even the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no aliens? Come no on, aliens. Dude. Gosh darn it. I was really excited to try and do a, like... How many times does Mathis bring up aliens counter for this podcast? It's okay. Next time. I mean, time. next time. Yeah, next time. I just want to say for the record. Yes. Mathis pulled the most Crendor Crendor that I've ever seen in my entire life. This is amazing. What happened? Nothing. He just, if anyone Wait, was not going to show me You mean this Crendor, right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know what I meant. I meant what I said. You know what, though? Like... Every time that we've had, because, you know, Geek Enders hasn't been around for very long, but we've had mm-hmm. Krendor on more than once. Um, mm-hmm. He's been here right on time. Oh, I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. It's like he's an adult now, and it's scary. <laughs> it's worrisome. He doesn't, he doesn't like... wait until we're literally on the, like, intro screen and then go, I'm going to grab a water really quick, and we both know that means he's going to Starbucks. You know, yeah, yeah, he doesn't no, do that. No, he's, he has, he's mm-hmm. just here and ready to go. <laughs> so. Yeah, he still eats dinner at 1.30 a.m., which is a thing. But, like, you know, bless his sweet soul. He'll, he'll make his dinner instead of just randomly going to a place to get dinner. So that's, right. like, a step up. That's he's really becoming shit. an adult. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. I've been, I don't play- like it. I've been playing groceries chicken with myself. And just like seeing how long I can go thinking up things to make with the stuff that's in my house before I'm like, I have to go to the grocery store. I just hate going to the grocery store and I keep forgetting to book a click and collect. So playing groceries chicken. Is this like, um, how can I put this nicely? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You justifying being so incredibly lazy. Is that what this is? You could you could pitch that, but I am at the end of the day still cooking things. So I feel like 
not, all right, you win. Yeah, it's not that you're, lazy. You can use, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's no. It's just me Get it. hating the grocery store. <laughs> right, no. Look, you're already doing better than me. I forgot the cooking part. The cooking part's important. The cooking part's important. You want to know what I cooked today? I'm using the word cook really loosely. Yeah, I can't wait to hear this. Yep. Go on. Yeah. Um, I took tortillas, put cheese on them, put them in the microwave, one minute, one minute only, rolled them up, and handed them to a child. So. Yeah, but she, she don't know no better. That's fine. That's okay. That's good parenting right there. <laughs> I, I yeah. am a grown-ass adult. Mm-hmm. And my dinner last night was I made, I took Kraft shredded cheese. Yep. A tortilla, hot sauce. So we're on the same page so a, far. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, made a quesadilla <laughs> and was like, damn, that was good, but I'm still hungry. What do I have? So I went in my fridge and in my freezer, I had a bag of garlicky, bake, uh, garlicky green beans. Ooh. And I was like, well, I can make a bag of green beans. That's fine. <laughs> that seems healthy. Threw those in and like started making them. It was far more green beans than I thought it would be. So I was like, well, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? Green beans? I'm not going to like, uh, you know, it's better than eating like a burger. So like, just eating green beans. About two hours later, my stomach was like, hey, Jesse, <laughs> you want to start farting, dude? I could not stop farting all night. I was in bed. I woke up because I farted. <laughs> I popped awake because I ripped one so badly. Mm. So it was, a, it turns out green beans are a lot of fiber. Who knew? Um, absolutely destroyed me. It was, it was a rough <laughs> night. It was a rough night. It sounds yeah. delicious though. Just it, a, a it, huge like, bowl uh, of garlicky green beans sounds so good to me right now. There's a Thai restaurant nearby that does a like pork and green bean kind of thing. Yeah. Had the exact same flavor. It was like a garlicky Thai. It was delicious. It was very good. I would rather get it at the place down the street because they don't, it isn't just like a ton of green beans mm. and it's a little more, the green beans have a little more snap, but you know, it's a restaurant compared to like a bag that I got at the grocery store. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. And I was blasted. Blast and my tush was like, right, just blasted. You started blasting, but not in the way that anybody assumes. Yeah, and I yeah. tell you exactly why, but I'm saving that for the show because it's really funny. <laughs> I was I was doing something when else while this was happening. When we start the actual I... show, which I guess mm -hmm. we should just do that. When we start, might as well. <laughs> when we start the actual show, should I just be like, and now Jesse has a fart story for all of us. It's not, it's not, it's not a fart based story. It's a, what I was doing instead of going to sleep like an adult based story. Okay. That is the most Jesse story you'll ever hear. <laughs> and honestly, is a great story for everyone out there because it is mwah, just media savvy. <laughs> is what the story is. Fantastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I, let's, Let's get everything sorted then. Um, I'm going to listen to this test recording that I did really quick just to okay. double check. I'm just to, yeah, no, I'll no. sit here and entertain people. You listen, you listen, you listen, okay. you listen. I have to mute you though. That's, oh, so, oh, shit. So just. I'll just like gesture. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah vote yeah, 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 for yeah. me. Okay. He's not voguing. I'm a little upset about this. It's fine. So sorry. Twenty five years. We're gonna have to play this cat and mouse game. Oh where my we... god. Yeah, yeah. I am a little bit louder than him, aren't I? The worst part is you're gonna get that when he wakes up and be like, "Oh man, no aliens." Not even the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little loud. I am a little loud. Let me turn myself down a bit. Hello. Oh, sorry. I was going to do another photo. <laughs> Lisa Nagaib. That's my favorite. This is, I, I send this to people all the, anytime anyone sends me anything cool now, I just send them this image and my entire, and I it's just, this is all I what do What is that? It's, it's Stelgar from Doom. It's it, D oh. Doom Dune. I still haven't seen Dune. I still don't oh, know anything. Good, about. I was telling. Ah, hold on. We'll just. just I... <laughs> okay. 
We'll do it on the show. Uh, okay. Caleb Doom. Caleb of Doom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, what are we, uh, what am I doing? I'm so, um... sorry. I'm just double checking a thing really quick. And then, okay. and then, and then, we're, and then we're doing it. And then we're doing the thing, the actual show. No, look. Okay, Geek Enders with Noah. <laughs> Fantastic. And then I should say intros. Double checking these. Oops, nope. I'm a patient boy waiting for you. You are a patient boy. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. A patient boy waiting a for patient. you. A patient. I am a patient. That's true. Why do I have this image just on my phone? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, chat, I'm muting um, us. And then uh, we're going to uh, throw it to the intro screen. And, uh, and then we'll get going. So see you in a sec.